Hello. Just thought I'd have a quick chat. Uh, this is for my Tesla Model 3, and we're uh, just into January 2021. Things are looking bad. 1,300 dead from COVID connected things in the UK. And we're all in lockdown. And things are a bit grim. It's a good job the uh, vaccinations have been knocked out. Hopefully they will work. Um, and hopefully they will work for a long time. I mean, if, if we've got to be injected every six months or nine months with new ones, with a new injection, because it's not a lasting, doesn't have lasting effects, we'd be injected uh, continuously, be injected for life. But it's better than nothing if it works. And um, let's hope it's not a placebo or something. Let's, uh, let's not be down about it. If it works, it will be great. If we haven't got it, we'll be absolutely messed up. Yeah, I don't know what we do. So um, that's something to grab hold of. Because without that, we'd be messed up. Yeah, as I say, um, that's per day. A bit perplexed because I think in America... Yeah, we got we got thirteen hundred dead a day. In America, they got three thousand dead a day, and um, which perplexed me a bit is how America can be doing so relatively well with their huge population. Their population were about over three hundred million, and UK's population seventy million. So, so America is doing better than us, which seems really weird because when you see see stuff from America, talk about reckless brainless um how they can be better being being totally reckless bunch of people is the strangest thing but lucky for them they're going to get rid of um their reckless leader and uh who well i've said all this before but i'll say it again who would kill thousands of people to save his life if someone, if someone said mr trump we've got a thousand people they're leaning up against your your wall, your lovely wall, your great wall, and we're going to shoot them, a thousand people, a thousand young people, we're going to shoot them dead or shoot you. <laughs> well, he wouldn't, he, wouldn't say, he wouldn't blink an eye and say, well, shoot them, that's it. He's that kind of guy. But um, he'll be gone soon. And um, he's been checked off Twitter can't believe he was on Twitter because for the whole five years he's been inciting negative things to say the least and people say isn't that a disgrace um, that's the end of freedom of speech there's no such thing as freedom of speech because freedom of speech takes away other people's freedom I'm sure you know what I mean if somebody influential says that person should be harmed. Well, that's their freedom gone down the pan, isn't it? So one person's freedom of speech is another person's death warrant. So freedom of speech is a non-starter. It's all right with Fred down the pub having freedom of speech because nobody listens to him. If I, if I say something, obviously no one's going to listen to me. If Donald Trump says something, and he's an absolute nutcase, uh, there are plenty of nutcases who listen to him. So he can't possibly, I can't believe he had freedoms of speech for so long because you can't have a nutcase having freedom of speech. As I say, freedom, of, freedom is what runs both ways. And by being president, he can slander anyone and they've got no recourse. Isn't that dreadful? Because... In law, you expect the president not to be a moron, which is fair, isn't it? You expect him to have some common sense. You expect him to think of others in any way whatsoever and not just think about his fat self. But no, nope, all he thinks about is himself. And he had a platform to talk to the whole, to the whole country, to the whole world and put out his bilge and people listen to it 
and people say, uh, I'm going to fight for you, Mr. Trump. You keep playing golf. We'll be there. We'll be there behind you. We'll be there. In fact, I think he said, I'll be there when we go and um, cause these riots. I'll be with you at these riots. And of course he wasn't, was he? He went home, watched it on TV. And the people went in and rioted. Oh, well, Donald Trump watched on TV. Like the big hero he is. And still people think he's wonderful. And when they were rioting, they said to Mr. Trump, what do you think it is, Mr. Trump? Oh, lovely people, lovely people rioting. They're such good guys, good people, good people rioting. And then people said, you can't really say that, Mr. Trump, can you? Because people have died. And he said, well, they're not very nice people, are they? No, they're horrible people. They've got to be arrested. What an arsehole. What an arsehole. How on earth can you follow that piece of madness? Yeah, but then he's out. We're, I mean, in one way, America's lucky they got rid of that rubbish. Uh, we've got our rubbish for another four years. They haven't got a clue. I don't know what they're doing. Um, a vaccine could help us out. Hope it works. Pray it works. Something's got to work or we're absolutely knackered. Um, yeah, well, we've got with Brexit. We're in, we've got Brexit now. It's been delivered. They're not queuing up at the ports. And... People are saying, oh, look at that. The Brexiteers, no queues at the ports. Might be something to do with people. Stuff isn't coming in. And if stuff doesn't come in, what do you think will happen? What do you think will happen down the line? So, well, we've got to be aware of what happens because uh, things could be a bit wonky. Uh, still people walking about. You're not supposed to walk about. Oh, there's a couple of young ladies. They uh, did some shopping in town. And it's quite busy in town. So they, um, they said, where should we go? So said, oh, we'll get a coffee, drive five miles down the road to somewhere where it's completely deserted. And we go for a walk. And they were arrested. Hello, hello, hello. What you doing here? We're going for a walk. Oh, how dare you? But, but we, brought, we brought coffee with us. You know, we've got a separate coffees. We brought coffee with us. We're just going for a walk. You can't bring a coffee here. That's considered a picnic. So um, they've got to, to pay up two hundred pounds each in a fines. Do you know what they should have done in town? They should have done some shoplifting. Because if they'd been caught shoplifting, they could have been uh, they've been first time offenders. They would just let off with nothing. But uh, oh, not even caught at all. That's more likely because they won't really be caught, would they? Because the police were all at this beauty spot seven of them apparently with a van at a beauty spot where nobody else was the only people at the beauty spot were the police they should have been arrested they should arrest themselves yeah so um that's uh, abusing and silly and sad and all sorts of things all mixed together so i've got to pay up the money and uh because they were easy targets if you're dominic cummings and you do much, much worse. Much, much worse. That's all right. You're, you're in the government. You're a member of the government. You work for the government. You're fine. Yeah, two young ladies, soft target. If the police had gone up to these two young ladies and um, they couldn't speak English, the police would have said, oh, oh, just, go, just go home. <laughs> just get in your car and go away. <sighs> and that had been it. Because they were respectable and they could speak English, they got to pay their fine. Because they were easy targets. It's always handy to get an easy target. So if you're bad enough, you get away with murder. Especially in America. If you're bad enough, you can get away with murder. That's what Trump said. Trump said he could get away with murder. It's the only true thing he ever said. He just did. He's got away with murder. Uh, but they'll be gone soon. And I have the other fellow. I'm mean, not a great fan of Biden. He's, he's a bit past, isn't he? But um, he'll be in. He'll probably be, he'll only probably be the figurehead because um, the vice president, the vice president, uh, Harris, she'll be in charge. And she knows what she's doing. And she can string two words together. So that'll be better anyway. Yeah, it'll be better. 
God, it could have been worse. I could be lied for for four years. Every single day. No, it'd be all right. It'd be an improvement. The rest of the world likes it anyway because uh, you can't go along like that, can you? I don't think America can, can, can actually get over this, you know? They can't get over this mess they've been in for so long. They've, they've fallen from, uh, well, in my eyes, they're never that high on the list of uh, being reputable, but uh, they've fallen right to the bottom of the bowl now. China, Russia must think it's absolutely hilarious. America preaching to the world. God almighty. Now look at them. Now look at them. A lot of thugs running around the what's it. And the thugs that broke into the place, some were maced, fair enough. They're complaining. Oh, I broke into this building and they maced me. Bloody hell, surprise didn't you? Bloody shoot you. Jesus Christ, you're not supposed to be there, you arsehole. So anyway, so that's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, they maced me, poor me. Yeah, bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised there's so few deaths, really. I mean, if America, if the police had really opened up, phew, makes you wonder if they're almost let in the people because there's so little, um, there's so little resistance. What did Trump say to the police? You know, don't resist this attack because there wasn't much resistance. And actually in the building was um, Vice President Pence. Trump's best buddy and after all this happened did Trump phone up Pence and say you all right mate no way no way couldn't give a monkeys couldn't care less so anyway that's my moan for the day I only came outside I'm sitting in my car now actually sitting outside the house and it's toasty warm even though it's outside it's three degrees because I'm in a Tesla and Teslas are toasty warm with no engine running yeah, lovely. Toasty warm, heated seat, nice and toasty. Chatting to you and hope for better soon. Yeah, I mean, depression is a, is coming in. You don't see anyone smiling. And even if they were smiling, their face is covered by a mask. So uh, no smiles about. It is very sad. It's, is it wearing us down or are we just getting used to it? I think in the end... It'll always be about, and we'll have to get used to it. It'll be part of life. And we'll be going out and start to become normality of going out to restaurants, having something to eat, and crossing our fingers. Risking it for a brisket. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. We're just living with it. Because we live with the flu, and that kills a lot of old people. And... We'll have to live with the virus, COVID. That kills more people. This is old people, though, and that kills more old people, right? So we'll have a, we'll have a bit more fatalities knocking around. It's as if the world, as if the world wants to relieve itself of a few people. And it's done that, but actually it's not efficient enough. It hasn't, it hasn't relieved the world of enough people, has it really? Because to knock the numbers back, you'll have to lose a couple of billion people from the world to give the world a break. But you never know. Probably not in my lifetime. That may happen. I mean, just imagine if COVID had been deadly and you got it and you're dead. <whistles> now that would be, well, nobody go out the door at all. Everyone would be locked up forever and ever. Yeah. So it could be worse. And... The government say it could be better in the spring. Mm -hmm. But whether the government says you take it with, uh, well, would you take it with? Well, they haven't. So they haven't been. They've been right yet. I mean, even the clock, even the clock that stopped is right twice a day. But um, so the clock's got better, uh, better judgments than this government. But uh, hopefully. Things must get better, but things will get worse before it gets better. And there will be a lot more fatalities during January. And I've said this before in my previous videos, I said loads and loads of people would die in January and February and everyone would be surprised. And there's loads and loads of deaths in January and February and everyone's surprised. 
What could be done? What could be done? Yeah. I mean, there will be two th in the UK. There will be 2,000 deaths in a day. That's, that's for sure. Tragic, isn't it? Imagine no one's... Imagine what? Imagine five jumbo jets crashing every day. Horrendous. Yeah, horrendous. Yeah, I think I better go now. Uh, I've spoken too long already. Nobody really is going to be listening to this. Because I've got no influence. So it's fine for me to say all this drivel I'm talking. Because I've got no influence. So I've got free speech. Fair enough. And I'd only have to say something a bit out of line and I'd be chucked off. Well, I'm putting this on what YouTube. I'd be chucked off straight away. So I've got no influence. If I said something not quite in line, I'd be chucked off. When you've had a guy, massive influence, saying all sorts of terrible things, things that have, not, not might have, they have ended people's lives. And he's only just been chucked off. Extraordinary, isn't it? Extraordinary thing. Yeah, you got you got to have a. If you're gonna be on, you feel like people like that shouldn't be on Twitter at all. Even respectable presidents, or respectable prime ministers, shouldn't be on Twitter. Because people of influence shouldn't be on Twitter. Yeah, that's one to be a bit split on because. Some people are good people and they're on Twitter, but then it's a matter of opinion who's a good person. I mean, Richard, At Richard, Richard Attenborough, he's a good person. Now, most people would agree that Richard At Attenborough is a good person. Um, so, of course, it's fine for him to be on Twitter. There'd be some people saying he shouldn't be because he's only got to say something they don't like. That's the thing about Twitter is only people should be on Twitter if they say what you want to hear. I mean, Twitter is selling a product, isn't it? It's like uh, they want controversial people to be on Twitter. They're the best ones for Twitter's point of view because uh, people watch them. People watch bad people. People are less likely to watch good people. <sighs> Richard Attenborough is a good person. And a lot of people do watch him. So he's actually managed to buck the trend by being a really, really, really good guy. Greta Thunberg is a good person. And people would watch her to slag her off. Because she's talking about things like clean air. How dare she? She's talking about not having petrol diesel cars that will clean the atmosphere. How dare she? I mean, obviously I'm a bit of a Greta fan myself because I'm sitting in the Tesla. So, uh... But even I, I go my say my things on um, you know comment on things and people say oh you've got your Tesla and all the electricity you put in it is comes from burning fossil fuels. Now of course that person has written to me because they're from America because in America they burn coal to make electricity, but I'm in the UK we don't burn coal for electricity. So there you are, you twat. You're from America, so you think that's the, well, that's where electricity come from, burning coal. Well, actually, no. And in countries like Norway, definitely no. Norway have oil. They sell it to stupid countries like America and get their power from um, hydroelectricity because they've got lots of lakes and water and stuff. And uh, so they've got lots of electric cars and they're, they're incentivized to get electric cars because they are not so dumb. So uh, there you go. Mind you, I'm saying that. I'm sitting in an American Tesla. Hmm. But I've made myself feel better because um, the Tesla, the, well, the guy who built it, Elon Musk, he's not American. But he's probably American now in the name. But he came from... Uh, Oh, I don't know where he came from. Somewhere, um, yeah, it's not America, is it? I think it's somewhere in the east, somewhere eastern block-ish, Hungary-ish. I don't really know, but he definitely wasn't born in America. So that's why he's so smart. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit weird guy, 
but then geniuses tend to be a bit weird that's the, that's the whole way through history people who are geniuses tend to be a bit nutty um hmm yeah i've definitely far too long i've done 20 minutes anyway i'm going now and i'll um i'll see you sometime and i'll moan about something else yeah take care bye bye